Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It is in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any of our platforms. Please reach out to me directly with your questions. I am tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a friend that doesn't arrive too often. This is the titanium version of the Blancpain 50 Fathoms Bathyscaphe. Of course, the Bathyscaphe and titanium announced back at Boss World 2013, it is a more historically inspired and stripped down 50 Fathoms, but with the same tech specs as the reference 5015 core model. So the watch is a little bit smaller than the 5015, 43 millimeters in diameter by 13.6 millimeters thick and 50 millimeters on the nose from lug to lug. It has a 23 millimeter spacing between the lugs. On my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, it does wear lighter than the stainless steel version of the watch. It's about the same as the ceramic model, but less fracture prone. You can see that from edge to edge, the lugs are not over the edge of my wrist, so I believe you could wear this watch on a wrist of my size, perhaps even a little bit smaller, a 15 centimeter circumference wrist that's flat across the top should wear this well. And you can see it is not excessively thick, although it is rather sheer, it looks taller than it is. Taking a look at the strap, it's what you'd like to see on a diver, which is to say rubber. Easily adjusted on the fly, it's preferable to bracelets, which are often difficult to size up, and this is great because you can quickly and easily change sizing as your wrist expands or contracts with activity. Here we have a buckle in Blancpain's signature grade 23 titanium. What is grade 23 titanium? Well, here's the thing. It's better than grade 2, and it's different from grade 5. So unlike grade 2, it's much harder and it can be polished, though this watch doesn't feature that type of finish. It is a type of 6.4 titanium, but it is not quite as hard as grade 5. It is more biocompatible than grade 5. It is more resistant to fracturing, which, yes, can happen with grade 5 titanium. It's considered to be more ductile, and it has slightly higher corrosion resistance, which is a real thing. As titanium naturally forms an oxide layer, you'll have less of that, that is less patina over time on grade 23. So, again, to sum up, Grade 23 is better than grade 2, has many of the traits of grade 5, lacks some of the absolute hardness of grade 5, but makes up with better biocompatibility, corrosion resistance, and shatter resistance. Now, in terms of how the watch is actually shaped, I mentioned that it's a more historically inspired watch than the 5015. Well, the reference 5000, which is what this is, features the look of an older pre-crown guard, big crown, minimally beveled, squared off lug type of profile, the kind of watch you would have seen in the dive segment in the 1950s. And you can see the bevels are very spare. The lugs are squared off. There is a big crown with no guards. So this watch giving you that historical ambiance, but still 300 meters water resistant with the caliber 1315 inside. Now the dial and bezel shade of the titanium are actually a little bit different from the steel. Difficult to describe the differences. You can check out my video of the steel to compare for yourself, but aesthetically there are differences, most evident when they're compared side by side. The bezel has a wonderfully loud and chunky ratchet. It is 120 click, so you can easily line it up with the hybrid baton syringe minute hand. We have a lovely brushed ceramic insert within the bezel. Most Bathyscaf models feature a polished ceramic insert. Plenty of loom in the dark, all three hands loomed, as every dive watch should be, so you know if your watch is running in the depths. We have applique indices, and you can see that we have a date disc that matches the color of the dial, which I always love to see. And we have a hacking or stop seconds function, so you can stop the watch and set it precisely to a reference time. And if you wish to rapidly correct the date, we also have a quick set mechanism, so you can rapidly correct the date just like that. It's also a lovely watch on every level finished to a degree that would embarrass the Royal Oak Offshore Diver, which is made in the same locality within Switzerland. So here we have the triple mainspring barrel, five-day power reserve, Frédéric Piguet Blancpain caliber 1315. And you can see that it is a gorgeous looking movement. It's also tough. It's based on the 13RO, which is a manual wind, but it's automatic winding free sprung adjusted in six positions, which is one more than the chronometer standard of five. The free sprung architecture makes a very precise adjustment, but also shock tolerance. And we have an anti-magnetic silicon hairspring. The 
watch features 35 pivot jewels. It does include three barrels, and they're phased such that the watch doesn't gallop and gain time when fully wound or lose tons of time when it starts to wind down. That's one of the advantages of having those barrels in series. And you can see that the bridges feature beautiful polishing. The bevel's a mile wide, and while I know that some of this is executed mechanically, it's much more convincing than the beveling you'll find on everything from JLC to AP to Moser to FP Journe. This is very impressive for a series produced watch. And in all likelihood, a hand buffing tool is used to finish off these mirrored bevels. You can see the same degree of beveling in the screw and the jewel sinks, a lovely snailing across the bridges. You can also see where bridges are layered, such as for the winding system, bevel of both overlapping and underlying bridges have been polished. We have some engine turning on the base plate, which is hard to see, but it's there. Screw heads are black polished, and though the wheels are few, we have a combination of satination and solarization, depending on the wheels, the finish is quite good. Anti-magnetic, shock resistant, 300 meters water resistant, this watch has it all. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.